Do we hear a cry for the Olympia? Do we hear a cry for the shotguns? Do we hear a cry for trying to do a tactical insertion spot that you saw on someone's live stream while they were going for a COD XP domination whatever qualification? Do we hear a cry for some awesome 34 and 9 shotgun gameplay? We hear a cry, we see you die. I think that was a rhyme that I used in a very old poem that I wrote. I used to write a lot of poetry. I haven't really written anything recently. Not really because I've gotten out of writing, though I actually have. I haven't written anything in ages. But simply because I've been far too busy with everything. And I don't really think that writing is, you know, the term of being emo and being all that. I don't really like the term emo because people are so fucking complicated, and I wish they weren't because they fucking make, give me a headache and do my head in, but they're more complicated than simply one word and one term to describe them. Sometimes labels are awesome, sometimes they work really, really well, but other times they're just a ball ache, you know? You know what I mean? But I haven't done an intro, it feels so good, but I'm going to do one now. This is episode 31 of my random class series. I'm running around with an Olympia, and as I said, I end up 34 and 9. So I thought, what the hell? Yes, there is a slight bit of camping, because to be honest, I have a shotgun, I am shit, and it's the Olympia. But I get 34 kills and 9 deaths, and I really, really liked what I ended up with here. So I decided, what the fuck, I will put it up on YouTube. And I need to take a breath now, because I have not stopped talking for the entire commentary, and it's almost two minutes in. Aren't I cool? Aren't I just the best thing in the world? But isn't Summit just an awesome map? It really, really is. All my friends seem to hate it, apart from a couple. But it's just amazing and awesome, and blackbirds for days, baby. Blackbirds for fucking days until you drop dead of hypothermia, because to be honest, this is a cold map. It's full of snow. It's full of shit. I mean, if you don't get hypothermia on this map, you're going to be in the minority, to be perfectly honest to you. You know, you know how it is. But I'm running around in top control, I'm fucking shit up. How do you, I don't know how you manage to get headshots with this gun. Though headshots seem so fucking random that it's just, it's just not worth it. It's just not worth the effort. You, ghosty, you are going to sit down and pay your respects. You're going to pay your respects to the Olympia God. And I'm going to probably die. Yes, I am, because the knife doesn't work. Why would the knife ever work in a million years? And I probably should explain what I'm doing with the tack insert. I am was assuming, in my infinite and childish wisdom, that we were going to flip spawns rather quicker than we actually did. Which is probably, you know, uh, it's a good thing that we stayed like this. Because if we had the sea spawn, I don't think the... Olympia would hold up very well because we are spawn trapping the small maps that is all you do unless you really want to triple cap or you really just want to get a bit of headache in there but I hate that sniper I remember how dying to that sniper felt it felt like you had just rolled up a newspaper and whacked me on the nose and said no down you can't play with the big big shotgun you can't eat the hors d'oeuvres I don't even know what hors d'oeuvres are I think they're some kind of food, I know that. But beyond that and them being French, I, I just don't know at all. So, a doves, apparently. I am terrible at languages, but I am getting off track. I can't actually remember what I was talking about, so let's just stay off track. A doves, French. Basically, any other foreign language, any other foreign language, any foreign language at all, I just say no to. Because, as my dad so eloquently put earlier on, English English people, they're lazy as fuck, and how did that RC car not see me? Oh yes, at this point in the game I decided I would have some fun. We end up with uh, me just killing him because a teammate tries to come over and steal my kill, but, you know, you know what I'm doing here. I'm sure we've all done it, we've all been there, and then I see the teammate coming over and it's not my friend, so... Fuck off! You don't steal my kill, you little whore! You little whore! I don't know why I didn't teabag you there. Teabagged? I don't know what I'm saying, but I didn't know why I didn't teabag him there. He was in prime location. You die. You get down and you die. And we have flip spawns, and I am dead. And I am um, should have switched to my... Yes. Oh dear. Let's just leave that, shall we? I, I don't really want to talk about that. But I have had more mic troubles. I ordered a new one, as I'm sure you will all be aware. And I didn't actually notice how much I had bent my old mic you know, the little thing that you speak into, that I'd bent away from my mouth so much 
and this guy doesn't kill me. How do you not kill me? You're terrible and shit and just... You're terrible. I can't put it across in words. But I'd bent it so far away from my mouth and then I got the new one and it was like, oh my goodness, I can... If I really try hard, I can reach my tongue out and lick this. It's far too close to my mouth. And that's my whole thing in life. If it's close enough to lick it, you're doing it wrong. Or you're doing it right, depending on what you're actually trying to do with your life. But... For mics, if it's too close, then I, d I just don't want it. And it creates the kind of tearing thing that you hear sometimes from my mic. You won't hear that anymore, because I've bent this one away from my my mouth now. I've taken this lovely brand new mic and I've just bent it away from my mouth so that you won't suffer. Aren't you grateful? It's only 15 quid, to be perfectly honest. I mean, I'm not going to spend a great deal of money on anything right now, for obvious reasons. But, we're halfway through the gameplay, how can we only be halfway through? Goodness me. Goodness me. But, I say but an awful lot in my commentaries. I will have to stop doing that. Because I listen to a couple of them back and it gets so annoying. It, it's like I'm but, but, but. I'm like a goat every two seconds. And I do apologise for that. I, re I really don't mean to be that annoying. I, I really don't. I can be annoying in a hundred million other ways. I don't need to say but, you know. A lateral. Get shit on, kids. Vic is in the house and she has a shotgun. I hope the shotguns are, you know, oh dear, that, that was painful, wasn't it? I hope the shotguns aren't as overpowered in Modern Warfare 3 as they were in Modern Warfare 2, but I hope they're not as weak as they are in Black Ops, if that makes sense. I hope everything's balanced, everything's perfect, I can own at the game, and all the noobs seem to run into me and, you know, everything is happy. I get 70 plus kill games every time I step onto the controller. I step onto the controller. Probably I should be, I pick up the controller. And I'm happy. And that's the only thing I want. But it's not going to happen. Because happiness comes at a price. I don't know what kind of tangent I've gone off onto now, but I was really enjoying the random classes at this stage. I was getting a lot of good gameplays. I believe I've got up to 40 recorded. Not 40 more, up to episode 40. But they'll be coming back in Modern Warfare 3, obviously. Everything really will. And I hope you guys enjoy them when you see them. I know I definitely will. Because being annoyed at the game and then picking up a random class and just owning face with it just makes you feel so good about yourself. It makes you feel like you can just kill the entire world. If you actually took a shotgun, you can murder everything in your fucking path and I can't believe how did he get me but I didn't get him rage rage and anger and stupid ass chopper gunners the gameplay is a little bit slow at the moment because dogs and choppers are out and I can't find anyone I hate the high kill streaks I I really do it annoys me and I'm sure you can see why because I have I don't think I've got a kill in uh, about a minute and that is does not make for good YouTube Basically, the only thing that is keeping you interested in this commentary right now is my voice. And I, don't, I think I went really old there for a moment, and my voice is now hurting. I'm going to lose this unless I stop talking so loudly, and start talking softly, like a young woman should. That is something else that I've got to discuss. I've got to... Yeah, that will be the next commentary, which you will probably see tomorrow, or after this one, but whenever. I hope you enjoyed this insane and slightly messy commentary. And I will see you guys either later today or tomorrow with another request or another drunk session. I will see you guys. Peace.